I ask my viewers to send me their YouTube videos to react to and try and improve in the edit to help teach others how to make their own videos work better. And as I watched the legendary and brave applicants videos, one thing stuck out from nearly all of them that I decided to focus this entire video on because when you improve this, no matter who you are, I guarantee you will get more impressions and views and that is your intros. It's guarantee, stronger than Russian coffee. So in this video, I'm gonna re-edit some viewers' intros to show you some powerful editing devices that you can use to improve the retention of your next release, starting with this channel, the Itchy Feet Guide. And this video is a walking tour of Guildford. Now, I chose this because, well, I was born in Guildford, so nostalgia, but also because I wanted to show you how much a title of a video will impact your editing and your intro. So let's have a brief look at the clip and see if you can get where I'm going with this. Welcome back to Itchy Feet Guide. Today, we'll be walking from Guildford High Street along the riverway to St. Catherine's Hill, where you'll find the ruins of a 14th century chapel before making a loop back into town. St. Catherine's is roughly about a mile away from Guildford Town. So the first thing I want you all to think about for your intros is this. What is the title of your video and who did you make it for? Because it will really impact your opening scenes, this. So let's look at the title of our Brave Volunteers video, Exploring Guildford's Lost History at St. Catherine's Hill. So I'm going to hazard a guess that this content is for tourists or people who just love a good walk in the UK and they are considering checking out what Guildford has to offer. So what do we need to do the second they hit play to hook the viewer? We need to show them the best best shots of Guildford that we've got, so that they go, wow, wow, wee wah. I wanna go to Guildford now. Now, if your avatars are walkers, then that would mean maybe using a shot of a trek. If it's the history that you think is the main appeal, then you need to slap them in the face with some ruins or something old. What you've gotta do is paint your viewers a picture that Guildford has all of the things that they are looking for and more to get their attention fast and then unpack the video from there. Which these guys actually did really well. But there was one thing that we need to change to make it work better. Your very first bit of B-roll. So they definitely had the right idea here because they're talking about starting out their journey in Guildford High Street, so they show it. However, having experienced the delights of Guildford High Street, I know that it looks like this. And that lovely picturesque town is really quite a powerful image. And the shot that you've used in your videos is the crossroad before Guildford High Street. So for an opening shot that's trying to sell an area, it's not quite got that wah wah wee wah that we want. So what I'd suggest here is one of three options. Firstly, you could have kept you on screen longer in the intro and just dropped that B-roll. Or you hit up Google and grab some awesome photos like these. That's the version of Guildford that will really suck in a viewer. Or to avoid the copyright issues, go and get some of your other footage that looked great and put that there instead. So I went through the video to find the shots that worked best to replace this, but I also added a few more to their introduction because I felt they left some of their best work too late in the video. I'm just going to speed things up a bit and I'm going to cut out some of the pauses. Now, I'm not going to go crazy with pace here like I do in my videos. I'm just going to remove the bits that are silent for a little too long to keep it flow. Oh, and by the way, I'm not actually going to do that. I'm going to get a robot to do it because I found some software that you drag your file into and it deletes all the pauses for you. It's called ReCut. You play with the settings for how long a pauses you want to get cut out. It works out the gaps and then it exports an XML, which you can use in like Final Cut and Adobe. You load it into your timeline and it looks like this, which is just going to save YouTubers so much time. <laughs> so now let's have a look at your new intro. Today, we'll be walking from Guildford High Street along the riverway to St. Catherine's Hill, where you'll find the ruins of a 14th century chapel before making a loop back into town. St. Catherine's is roughly about a mile away from Guildford, so it's perfect if you're not looking to walk too far away and yet still want to enjoy the beautiful scenery that the Riverway has to offer. Maybe not that bit. Our next channel is The Dad Night, and I'm only gonna re-edit one thing from this intro, and that is this. Was it the right thing to do given such a young family? Let's find out. Now I've spoken about these intro stingers before, but using these is like going to a restaurant and a waiter ignoring you in your order. It's getting in the way of what people came for and it makes me mad. But I know that people love using them and they're fun and they look cool. So instead of just trying to ban them, I'm gonna re-edit yours to keep it really short under like three seconds. So I'm gonna cut some chunks out and then I'm gonna speed it up a little bit and then I'm gonna add some sound effects. And now we have something like this. 
of makes me way less angry. Next up, I'm going to show you how to edit an intro to add more humor to it. And humor is often just a matter of timing. Now, this style I'm going to use, I'm not saying is the only way to do things and that everyone should use it. Every technique I ever teach you is for you to decide if it is worth testing or not for your audience. So here we have Cairn Creek, and this is the pre-edited intro. Hey guys, welcome back to Cairn Creek. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Nathan. And we're here in Southern Ohio. We're not in Southern Ohio, guys. Cairn <laughs> Creek does not have a Woodmizer LT for you. Look at that thing. So the first thing to fix here is this is just slight pause at the beginning, and I'm gonna delete that so it's like, bam, straight into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Cairn Creek. Hey guys, welcome back to Cairn Creek. Now what I like about this is this is a nice dynamic between you guys on camera. I'm enjoying the playful banter that you have, but this pause here is just a little bit too long. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Nathan. And then what also happens here is Nathan kind of pops out a little bit too soon for the gag of him just appearing. Now I know it's gonna completely wreck the quality here, but I'm gonna zoom in on you a ton so that you can't see him appear and then zoom out and he's there. And then I'm gonna cut out the gaps a bit and do a few jump cuts like so. Hey guys, welcome back to Cairn Creek. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Nathan. And we're here in Southern Ohio. We're not in Southern Ohio, guys. And then this section, what they're talking about is the star of the video, the wood miser. And Nathan really bigs it up. Look at that thing. So as an editor, you've got a choice. Because they're having fun, they're smiling, joking, and then they point out the star of the show, I think it would work well to really feature the wood miser. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out this clip here, and then I'm gonna take a still of that frame and then stretch it out and then add a zoom in a little. And then I'm gonna add my choir and this. Hair Creek does not have a wood miser LT for you. Look at that thing. Becomes this. Miser LT for you. Look at that thing. Now he's got a 35. Next up, we have this video about unboxing an orchid. And in this example, I'm gonna really, really focus on just the first four seconds. Because in this video, you have the makings of a great intro. Problem is, it's about 90 seconds into your video. So this moment here, this is your hook. And it should be at the very start because it will create some intrigue. Ooh. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy this one. And you need that to build the anticipation of the unboxing. And then what else I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go and film something to make this work that little bit better. And what that does, it doesn't reveal what's in the box. It just creates more anticipation as you see it open combined with your reaction. And then we can roll into the content and it looks like this. Ooh. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy this one. How's it from Orchids and Fanboys friends? Dave here with another Orchid unboxing. If you do want to make your content better and want to get better results with it, this video here is gonna give you more tools to achieve just that. It's a fly. It always bugs in my videos these days. 